Today, Singaporeans enjoy a clean, green and blue environment. It didn't come about by chance. Because we can't dispose of naturally, we used to burn it off. As we walk down the street, you can see litter. You can see people throwing litter around. Singapore River is not like what it is now. It's really dirty, lots of rubbish floating. Food hygiene of those days is considered unhygienic. You can see rats running around, cockroaches. It floods whenever it rains and we all have to jump onto our chairs as the water level rises. The night soil men coming to collect the bucket of soil, bring the buckets to a big vehicle. The government more cleanliness. And I remember very vividly about this icon, the frogs keep hopping around to tell people that you need to keep the environment clean. It's a result of visionary leadership, careful planning and development. The hard work of the community and corporations that made Singapore a livable and sustainable home. We started in 2010. We put them through a workshop on sustainability systems thinking. And then with that knowledge, they go out to help households to save energy. Well, half the households has managed to save energy. The Heartland EOA is the second program at Southeast. It's a program where we work very closely with Panasonic. We actually roll out an awareness program to get people to start doing e-waste recycling. The number of e-waste that we collected, we are able to exchange for energy-saving light bulbs. So I've run the Singapore Glove Project since September 2012 and I've realised that I cannot single-handedly clean up Singapore. We call it a project because at the end of the day we want this to be a community movement. Meaning to say, you don't have to identify as an SGP member, rather SGP is you. The rest program basically is about recycling, exchange, sell and throw. I've worked with Northwest CDC and National Junior College students who embark on reduction in electricity usage. We actually created an environmental science uh, curriculum where we integrated it with different subjects for different levels and we call this Project Life, which is learning is fun and engaging. Every year, this whole school embarks on a theme and at each level, they would discuss different aspects of the environment. I mooted the idea of starting an environment club. So the Environmental Conservation Club, which we call ECC, becomes the driving force for the green effort in Jurong JC. The Talkong event was organised by the youth and was held in NUS. We encourage participants to come in and join us on, and learn about disposables. We also saw representatives from four different university environmental groups coming together to agree on a common goal. The Green Movement Camp began at the support and participation of all Green Champions in the school. The purpose of the camp was to further train the Green Champions and successfully hone their leadership skills in disseminating information as well as spreading the Green message within their own class. I definitely have hope that Singapore will have an even more sustainable environment that is better taken care of by the people. Children will become the change that we want them to be and they will bring us forward and make Singapore a great livable city. Start volunteering. So when you go on the ground, you will understand the problem, understand the context. And only by understanding the process that you can find a proper solution to tackle the environmental problems in Singapore. All come together and take ownership of the space, the environment, and make it livable and sustainable for everyone. The environment belongs to all of us. Let's work together to love it. Be an eco-friend.